Hey, how's it going guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write a feedback function to check if a file is open or closed. This function is going to be kind of like a utility function, and you can use this function on any Office application that supports VBA. Uh, for example, you can use the function Outlook, SS, Microsoft Word, and so on. Now let's go ahead and open the VBA window by going to the Developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Now let's go ahead and insert a new module. I'm going to call the function uh, is file open. And there will be one parameter. The parameter name, uh, let's name the parameter file path, a string. And the uh, output type will be boolean, so just true and false. So here I'm going to create my variables. And I'm going to insert the on error resume next. So to start, I need to get the uh, file number. And so file num is equals to free file. And I'm not going to go into details uh, on each function since, uh, like I said, this is going to be a tutorial video to share utility function with you guys. Now we have the file number and we need to open the file. So open file path for input and lock read as a pound sign and you want to uh, insert the file number. And once we open the file, we can attempt to close the file. So close file num. And if the process uh, is okay, so if these two lines are uh, executed successfully, that means the file is closed. And otherwise, so here I'm going to uh, reset the error to back to zero. Now here, let's get the uh, error number. Select case, error number. If the error number is uh, zero, then we know the file is still uh, closed. But if the error number is uh, 70, then we know the file is open. So I'm going to set the value to 2. And otherwise, I'm going to basically uh, return the error number. And that's it. So that's the function. Now let me do a quick compile. And here I have a typo. So error number. Now let's go ahead and give this function a try. So right here I have three files. And I'm going to open all these three files. So I have an assets file, Excel file. And let me make that a little bit bigger. And a regular text file. So I'm going to open all these three files. Here's the assets file, uh, Excel file, and, and the text file. Now let's go back to the VBA window. And I need to grab the file names and the file path. So here, let me do this. Uh, I will copy the file path. And I'll create a subroutine. So I'm going to call this routine testing. And I'm going to pass uh, all the file path to the to the is file open function. And that's the first file. So this will be uh, assets file. And I'm going to copy this line and paste two more time. So I'll replace the file name. This will be Excel file and this will be text file. All right, now if we just run the testing subroutine, 
and the as file is is the access file uh, open is false that's what we get false so that means the file is uh, open uh, is file open oh something's not right is file open let me double check hold on here we need to insert the, the air number into the air num uh, variable so it looks like this uh, should be air number now let me try again so if I run the testing subroutine now this time the output came back correctly so here uh, the access file is open and that's what get two and excel file is two so that means the excel file is open and same with the text file uh, I assume with text file uh, because you can uh, there's no uh, open there's no file open status for text file if I remember correctly and that's why uh, with this function you cannot check whether or not if a uh, notepad file is open now if I open let me see now if I open the notepad file again as you can see that that's going to open the note file as a, a brand new instance so just wanted to point that out but now if I close the access file and as well as the Excel file, I'll close the test.xlsx and let me go back to the VBA code and I'll remove this line right here. Now if I run the testing subroutine, now this time uh, I get false for the access file. That means the access database is, is now closed and same with the Excel file. This is just a function that I found uh, pretty handy sometimes if I'm working uh, in a large company and if I need to check if, if a file is on a shared drive that is being uh, used by whether it's my colleague or someone else, then uh, I can use this function to uh, check whether or not uh, if someone is using the file. So this is everything I'm going to show you guys in this video. If you like this video, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.